Hey, in today's fast paced world, we have so much information flying at us as business owners. A lot of us should be keeping up with what's the latest in our industry, in the world, maybe uh, whatever it is that I'm trying to learn. I want to show you how I've been coaching the business owners that I consult with, how to learn rapidly and not get caught up in rabbit holes on social media, news platforms, or any website out there. They're all made to capture your attention. If you have an intention to accelerate your learning and save time in the process, you're going to want to watch this video because you will learn three go-to tools to accelerate your learning. It reminds me of this article I actually just read today about TikTok and how, you know, this was a redacted document that basically got released, but how they know how engaging their platforms are. It's very interesting and talks about the dangers around kids using platforms. Think about how a lot of algorithms are built in general on social media, on news, on websites, just kind of in the world we're living. So this is why it's super important to learn how to accelerate your learning and the tools you need to get ahead. So very first tool is one that I love to use whenever I want to listen and read in any scenario. It could be when I'm out walking around, could be when I'm just washing dishes or driving the car. There's an app called 11 Lab Reader, and it's totally free. Find it at 11labs.io slash text dash reader. Now, this is made by the same company called 11 Labs. This is basically like the engine of all the AI voices you hear online. They create amazing text to speech audio. I'm sure you've heard it before. 11 Labs Reader is for your phone. So it's great for iOS or Android, and it's totally free at the time of this recording. And what you can do is load up any website, PDFs, documents, books, and wherever you're at, it will read to you. It actually will read in 32 different languages. It follows along as you're reading, and you can even select a whole bunch of voices, including some celebrities, if you want to have them read to you, no matter what you're doing, you know, and how are you feeling? You got Jerry Garcia over here, Deepak Chopra, depending on the mood, you select a different voice. So let's say I wanted to read this TikTok article and I don't want to read it, but I want to listen to it. So I get my phone, find that article here. And I just open it up, select 11 labs reader, and it's going to load it into the app and start generating audio. On the first time, internal TikTok communications have been made public. That's the app the voice for American if I want teenagers. Bert Reynolds to read this to me, then let's make it happen. Teenagers. This is despite its own research validating many child safety concerns. The confidential now, material... a little slow, then we can speed them up and double it up here. ...if TikTok by 14 attorneys general. The led to state officials suing the company on Tuesday. The lawsuit alleges that TikTok was designed with the express intention of addicting young people to the app. The stage... The idea here is that you can pull in anything. You can select the voices right here. There's a whole bunch of different... Uh, voices you can select from it makes reading and consuming content super quick when you have a link pdf document or a book now let's say you want to go a little deeper on a topic and you know maybe it's more on that tiktok thing or maybe it's about something in your industry this is the tool for you so this is kind of like the google killer it's called perplexity.ai now this is free there's a little paid version that gives you some upgrades like uploading images text or pdfs but the, the long and short of this is perplexity will search kind of like ChatGPT or Claude, but it will also pull in real time sources. So if you want to learn more about this TikTok thing, well, then I would say, you know, give me more information about this topic and let's just see what it does. So it will actually pull in from a whole bunch of different sources. You can see it's going through multiple steps as it's doing this. I am in the pro mode right now, but something similar if you just have the free. And now you can see it's talking about the lawsuit background behind all of this what the deal is behind this redacted documents thing and the different revelations that came from this TikTok's response, implications, and so on. So it's distilling all this information from a bunch of different sources, and it's now allowing us to go even deeper if I wanted to. So what are the key findings? You can see it's going to keep searching and going down that kind of style there. Now, what if I wanted to learn about, let's say, podcasting, for instance? So I have a collection, they call it here, that's all about starting a podcast. Now, what you can do is actually have a bunch of different threads and then group them in a way so it keeps your research a little bit more organized. So let's say you want to start a podcast. What are the latest trends in podcasting in 2024? So what it did is it searched the web and the database. It's actually using Claude you know, in the back end. And what it's telling me to do are different things like embracing video content, focusing on educational content and different things to consider. Leverage AI tools, short form, monetization strategies and opportunities, cross promotion and, and uh, collaboration. So it's pulling all these sources and referencing them for me. These are a bunch of website URLs, videos, and, and sometimes even documents. And there's Reddit. 
pulling in all sorts of stuff. Now you can have it search for images on the right hand side, and you can even have it search up videos like this one right hey there, here. Welcome. And like I said before, it's kind of a Google replacement. If you want to rapidly learn around a topic and then actively go deeper without really having to know too much about it, you can let perplexity kind of let you go down the rabbit hole. But again, it's not distracting you with ads and all these different things. It's keeping you focused and you can use collections to kind of group all of these in a way so you can keep track of what you're doing. You can even share these, collaborate with others. It's an awesome tool. There's so many more things with perplexity, but I would see this as your AI research assistant. Now, third up, and this is one of the best tools I think that came out recently, even uh, Sam Altman from OpenAI talked about him. You know, he was even impressed with Notebook LM. And it's, I just, you know, put the cat out of the bag. Notebook LM is like your personal AI tutor is what I would, I would call this. So if you go to notebooklm.google, you'll find it. It's free. Do you need a Google account to use it? It's basically a research assistant, but it's also, I would say more of your tutor because you can engage with this. You can put in sources of information of all sorts and have conversations, creating interactive media, like a podcast. I'll, I'll show you how you can do it. So let's say I logged in. The first thing you're going to see is you can add different sources of information right into here. You can upload PDFs, text, markdown, uh, different kind of audio, video. You also can upload your Google Drive files, links to different websites, videos, and you can paste text. You can see you have a limitation of 50 different sources, but let's be honest, you can load up a lot of stuff in here. So let's say we want to go back to perplexity. This is how I typically, when I'm working with clients, I'm connecting things. I'm creating a workflow. So if you go back, like we have 11 Labs Reader is a great way to consume content that you might have found individually or on in a news site or something like that. Maybe it's shared with you. Let's say you wanted to go deeper and you would use something like perplexity. There you would find different sources of information. You would have a good grasp of what you want to learn or what you're curious about. Then you would go to Notebook LM to put sources of information into and really learn. And again, that AI tutor kind of concept comes into play. So let's say we want to go to that podcast angle like I was uh, starting to go to. It's maybe a little bit more relevant for business folks. So let's say I want to plug in some videos that came up here. There's this video that was shared as something that would talk about basically, you know, this is takeaway from podcast movement 2024. So what I would do in this case, plug in the YouTube URL right here, and this will insert that. And what it's doing is it's adding that to the database of Notebook LM. So why don't we add like three more? I think there were three right inside of here. Hey there, so and welcome to this top five podcast trends. Let's copy that link, add a new YouTube URL, and we'll do one more just for good measure. And I will show you exactly what is going on here, what it's going to do for us. We're not really watching the videos, but what we're doing is just gathering the sources of information that, in this case, Perplexity found for us. And we can load up other things, like I was saying, different websites. Maybe there's some podcast related websites we're following or different information, different sources. We would plug them in there. Let's say that was all we added for now. So we have three YouTube videos sourced from Perplexity over here. Think of the workflow. What I would do is generate a podcast. So it's, it says generating a conversation. What you'll see, it takes a handful of minutes, is it will create a concise AI-driven podcast or a conversation between two AI hosts that are pulling out the best of the best from the sources we put inside of Notebook LM. It's a rapid way to learn. Again, it's a tutor. It's a way to see things in different angles. It kind of categorizes information in a way that, I mean, good luck. I don't know how you'd be able to do it as good as this or as rapidly. It creates these little notebooks. So you can do an FAQ kind of notebook. You can create a study guide from all this if you wish, or a briefing doc. You can even see a summary that's pulled in from the context. Now, Deb, you can also have a chat with it. So imagine you have ChatGPT. It's got a bunch of data that it's sitting on that will pull information. Now, what you're doing here is you're pulling information from these sources and you can have a real-time chat with it. So imagine you can rapidly learn about pretty much anything you can think of as long as you load the sources into here. You can generate any kind of material you can think of and it's now going to also reference and tell you where in the source that was from. Let me show you. So... Give me the top three things I need to know to start a podcast today. It will pull from these videos, the transcriptions from those, and give me what I need to know. So you can see, have something valuable to say. Promote your podcast, engage your audience. It's given details about each one of those. 
but it's also referencing where in the video, in this case, and also the transcript, where that information came from. And so all these little numbered bubbles are doing exactly that. It's saving us time and pulling out the nuts and bolts of what we need the most from uh, this topic. It's also going deeper. It's giving us suggested questions. We can look at some of these things that were generated. We generated an FAQ, a study guide, a briefing doc. Let's see what the FAQ looks like here. So we can actually look at and see, okay, there's different trends, production value, niche content, more monetization options, value and pocket. You can see it just goes on and on how AI is impacting podcasting. What are some concerns about AI and podcasting? You know, notebook LM might be one of them. You can just see how rapidly you can organize this information. All right, now. Let's do the best part of Notebook LM, which is this conversation generated between two AIs based on the content we loaded up. Let's take a listen. Ever wonder what's next for podcasting? Like where it's all headed? Definitely. It's changing so fast, right? Totally. So we well, checked we out a bunch of videos, you know, from some big... I'm going to speed it up a little bit. No, we will not listen to this full thing, but you'll get the gist of what this can do. When you have a podcast, you can take this, go on a walk or listen to this. Maybe if you're prepping for anything, you're just trying to rapidly learn. Well, now you can have it said to you, so I didn't even have to do the reading. But let's listen to this a little quicker now. 1.5. First thing that jumped out was this whole debate about open versus closed podcasting. Oh, yeah. That's eating up. What do they say about it? It's kind of hard to explain. Um, Robin Todd's Todd. they're like super passionate about this. They think open. So you can see it's referencing and putting all this into a conversation. It's not dry. It's very human-like. And this is just going to expand even more of these AI conversations or podcasting. Just keep a lookout. This thing's going to keep improving. But for now... Use Notebook LM in conjunction into a workflow, kind of like what I'm talking about here. So again, 11 Labs Reader is the free app to listen to pretty much anything. Then you have complexity.ai to do the deeper research. And then you have Notebook LM, which is essentially your AI learning tutor. So that's it. This is what it looks like when you have a smart workflow and you don't have to rely on the algorithms to take you down the rabbit hole and, you know, their algorithms to kind of give you you know, it kind of molds a different world for you once you're in it. And, you know, TikTok is basically saying it here. Within 20, 30 minutes, you're in your own little bubble. But in this case, you can learn anything and you basically choose your own route to take when you're using 11 Labs Reader, Perplexity, and then you have Notebook LM. So give these tools a try. Go supercharge your own learning. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how you're using this kind of workflow. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.